Alright, how's it going guys? Panoy here. Going to be bringing you a tutorial today on how to do screen pulses slash shutters, if you uh, get what I mean by that. But don't worry, at the end of the video you'll completely understand what we want. So go ahead into your Vegas. Uh, this is a little thing I'm doing for Darth Lars. Uh, don't want to see any of that. So go ahead, start a new composition. If you want to take down my settings, these are the best settings around, feel free to do so. Just make sure you always click that little box at the end, so you always start with those projects. Uh, click the pause on the video so you can uh, take them down, there's the audio as well. Uh, and that's it really, okay, so go ahead, click OK. Now drag in any clip that you want, I think what I'll do is I'll use one of Lars's clips. We'll just go ahead with this one right here, oh god, yep, just go with this one. Okay. Main to aspect ratio, blah blah blah. Okay. I'm not really going to sync it up, but I'll just um, show you how to do it properly. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Alright, music. Let's pick one. Let's go ahead. Uh, you want to pick one where you can actually hear like the bass of the song, where it sticks out. So I'm going to go with. Let's think of one, let's think of one. Okay, let's go with this one. Hey, you from a hello. Okay, there's a bit coming up right here. There we go. Alright, that's the bit we want. Alright, so for this one, I'm going to show you the uh, screen pulses that I like to do. I use them quite a lot, actually. Okay, so just give me a sec. Let me fit. I don't even know why. All right. So when you're doing screen pulses, you want to listen for again, and then hit M on the keyboard to make a marker, so you know where that bump is. Okay. So these are quite fast ones. You can actually see them on the timeline here where the uh, the wave uh, gets to its peak, so that's usually a point where you want to hit that M. Always make sure the right bit. Alright, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm only going to show you four bumps. Okay, so go ahead, drive your clip over it. I'm just going to get rid of the audio, split it with you, so you get rid of the audio and you got it split. Delete. Okay. It's here. Like so. Alright, so here's your clip. Now, what I like to do is just to uh, get rid of the black lines there. Do that. Okay. When doing the bumps, you can do a shortcut way of it, which I sometimes do, which is first off, start off with going in about there. So the uh, the little square here gets near the arrow, uh, near the top of the map. That's usually a good place to do it. Uh, just go ahead, right click on the keyframe, hit smooth. And basically what you've done, you've just allowed yourself to save some time, which is what I love to do with Sony Vegas, why my edits are so fast. I like to save time in many ways of shortcuts. So go ahead and split on all the markers. And go to the event pan and crop. Drag your mouse to the end of the timeline. Right click and hit restore. Uh, you can zoom in a little bit just to get that little bar. And then what you can do from here is copy the keyframes and just drag them in. Uh, just paste them in, sorry, into the next ones. There you go. You're saving so much time right now. Honestly, it's just amazing how much time you can save if you just know the little tricks to do. So there we go. So those are the screen bumps done. So I'm just going to show them right here. There you go. You see the screen pulsing. But it's, not, it's looking dull, okay? Maybe because one, there's no color creation on it. But now what we're going to do is we're going to add brightness and contrast to it to give it that real effect of the pulse. So I'm just going to hit the keyframes on here. I'm going to type in zero. And again, every single keyframe you do, select them all, and hit smooth fade, and then copy if you know you're going to use the brightness and contrast again. And again, just put them in. Saving so much time here. 
that's fine by me. Uh, I'm just rushing through this tutorial, so I won't like perfect it as much as as much as I love doing perfection. I'm not going to do that for for the sake of the tutorial. So here we go. Drag them in, and this is the last one, and you're done. All right, so there you go. Much, looking much better now. Look at those screen pulses. Oh, lovely. Now what you can do to add a little bit more variety in there and make it look better is you fade them down. So just go to the top right corner here, hold the mouse button, and just fade it like that. And what we'll do is I'll make it look even more of a better sort of pulse to it by fading out and then back in like so, and giving it more sort of ground effect to it. So there you have it. Oh, lovely. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the uh, shutter effect. Uh, I don't really know what to call it. I'm just going to call it shutter because it just like it's like a flash, like really quick. And the perfect times to use these is when you hear the drum roll go really fast, for example. For example, right here, if you just listen closely. So around here, you hear that really fast drum. Uh, I'm not an expert with drums and music, right? But I just know that's where we want to go for it. So if you know the name of it, Feel free to comment, alright, there's no hating on that, but uh, just don't hate on me for not knowing it, sorry. Okay, so go ahead, drag in a clip, I'm going to use one from Mumty, yeah, good friend Mumty, I'm going to use one from him. Uh, let's go ahead with this one, oh, throw a knife, yeah, alright then, we'll use that, we'll use that Mumty. Okay, so I'm not really going to go into depth and sync it up with a um, with a kill or anything, I'm just gonna do this really quickly for the sake of the what's wrong with me, why am I got these like pauses whenever I talk, I don't want that alright so right here uh, again with this song it's actually pretty damn easy to see where to mark them but I have found a way um, that works perfectly, perfectly, every single time when it comes to these faster drum beats and that is literally just counting the keyframes by, by clicking on the on the arrow button to the right you go, you count six one, two, three, four, five, five, six I think that was quite bad counting, let me do that again one, two, three, four, five, six, alright Okay, like so. Uh, this isn't perfect, but it's the way you want to go. Okay, see, so see, they're on five. So this is all you're doing. You're just dragging the crossfade to the right, like so. And if, I don't know if you saw that, but you see, you already got the shutter going on. So just listen up. Yeah. So that's literally all you have to do for the shutter effect. It is best for when you hear those uh, fast drum beats. Um, it's usually best. For when you're doing hardcore songs because you usually hear that quite a lot uh, you can do it in chill songs as well you also hear that I mean it's it's like a it's a perfect effect for any type of music as long as you hear that really fast beat in the background you can use it simple as that alright so that's how you do the shutter effect and the screen pulses effect uh, it's probably not the best tutorial um, but it's straight down to the point um, I tried to go in depth a little bit about certain things, so that's why it will uh, prolong and it will be a little bit long. But, you know, it's better to go in depth and get it right first time than to do it really fast, make it look crappy, and in turn make your edits look crappy as well. So, if there's any, uh, if you have any suggestions, any questions, anything that's on your mind, you can comment on this video, I'll reply. Um, if you have any requests for a certain effect that I do, then let me know. Um, I will most likely make that on my next tutorial for sure and um, that's it for me really so these were the screen pauses and shutter effect and I'm out peace